responsible for shooting and killing Alonzo Bagley turned himself in this morning. KSLA News 12 was there as Tyler walked into Caddo Correctional Center in Shreveport. He walked in after that warrant for his arrest was issued this morning. We got that warrant. Uh, sources uh, gave me that warrant around 8 o'clock this morning so we could kind of go over it. KSLA News 12's Michael Barnes has more details on that warrant. What are you learning, Michael? Dom, it was just a little over two hours ago that Alexander Tyler walked into this Caddo Correctional Center after the warrant was issued for his arrest earlier this morning. That warrant gives us a first look at some of the details of the incident that the public had not been aware about. First, we do know, like you said, that Tyler is being charged with negligent homicide. One thing we've learned about the incident is that Tyler's actions may have been the cause of improper training. The warrant says that uh, Tyler approached Bagley in a hallway of the apartment complex with his gun pointed straight ahead of them the entire time, which he was not supposed to do, and shot Bagley when he was running away from him. Tyler quickly left the scene after shooting Bagley and trying to save his life, claiming that Bagley had approached him with his hands hidden, but no weapons were found on or around Bagley. Now, like you said earlier, we thought Tyler was being currently held without bond, but they are now holding a bond hearing at the Cattle Courthouse in downtown Shreveport. Later tonight on KSLA News 12 at 4 o'clock, we'll have more details on what led to Tyler's negligent homicide charge and what happens next in his case. Live in front of the Cattle Correctional Center, Michael Barnes, KSLA News 12. All right, Michael, uh, before we go to the next story, let me just walk this back for a moment. If we can play some more of that video again, the officer involved shooting of Alonzo Bagley uh, was released shortly this afternoon, about 30 minutes ago from LSP. We do have that video in house. The family saw that video this morning, along with their attorney and a couple of pastors that they asked to be by their side. We're working to go through that video as well. We've showed you a portion portion of that video up until Alonzo Bagley was shot. Here's what we do know as well this morning. The officer that was involved in the shooting, the one that uh, shot Bagley, turned himself into Caddo Correctional Center this morning. That would be Alexander Tyler on a charge of negligent homicide, which is a felony. At the time, the arrest warrant said that he had no bond. We do know this is uh, Alexander Tyler turning himself in this morning. Here's what we do know. At the time, on the warrant, it said no bond. Here's what we do know at this time right now as it's coming into the newsroom at noon in Judge Hathaway's courtroom downtown. We have someone there as well. There is a bond hearing and it's a video conference with Alexander Tyler from CCC. We are waiting. I'm tuned into my phone to see if he gets bond or if that bond will stay at no bond. As soon as we learn of that, we will, of course, pass it along to you. The family of Alonzo Bagley, the man allegedly shot and killed by Officer Tyler, will have a news conference along with their attorney, Ron Haley, this afternoon at 2 o'clock. Of course, we will stream the conference live on our